download the new updated Eyewitness News, your weather authority app from your app store today. Man, is it cold out here in the backyard. I've got to get the fire going. Now, we've got a little flap, though, on the fireplace. It's metal. You lift it up, and that's where the controls are, right? To protect the controls from the weather. Well, the rain yesterday refroze, and we got a little black ice on, you know, areas out in the parking lot and also on roads, and it froze my, uh, my lid there. So I'm going to need a flathead screwdriver. Looks like I'm off to engineering right after this weather cast. <laughs> Got to get that fire going, are you kidding me? We've got a good wind out here in the backyard. It is cold and how, and it's going to be even colder tomorrow. As we look at our MCF construction camera there, Deaconess Gateway, and the sunshine is, is breaking through. That always helps out a little bit. I mean, if nothing else, it's a greenhouse effect for your car. Obviously, you got your windows rolled up. And if it's sitting out there in the sunshine, you know, at least it will be a little bit warmer when you get into it later on. Uh, as we uh, now take a look at our head's construction camera there, we're here in the backyard right above my head. Looking out toward the Ohio River. And now one more stop on our tower cam tour down in Powderly in Muhlenberg County, where we are noticing a little bit of traffic there on Everly Brothers Boulevard. Looks like a few cars in the old Medical Center pharmacy lot. As we take a look at the temperatures across the tri-state right now, it is 23 degrees currently in Jasper, 23 in Tell City. We're still at 22 here in Evansville, 24 though Owensboro, and also in Henderson down to the south, Madisonville hanging in there at 26 degrees. And it's 21 in Carmi. All of us well below the freezing mark. We've got temperatures in the 20s. What are the feels like temperatures out there? For most of us, we're feels like in the teens. Now, Evansville has no wind chill. All right, Jason to the rescue with the flathead screwdriver. <laughs> yes, I can get that fire going here in a second. Anyway, it feels like 11 in Jasper. It feels like 10 in Tell City and 12 in Owensboro. So where we do have a wind, we certainly have a wind out here in the backyard. Things are looking better. Hey, this is a beautiful sight in the sky, and you'll be able to see it tomorrow morning if you get up early enough. Uh, Venus is on the left there, beautiful and bright. And then right to the right in the sky with Venus, kind of hanging out there in the morning sky, is Jupiter. And Kurt Davis got that wonderful shot from Illinois this morning. Kurt, thank you so much for sending that picture of Venus and Jupiter in the sky. And it really is an impressive sight. It's just really cold to check it out. <laughs> uh, but it's in the eastern sky, southeastern sky is where you can catch it. Uh, storm tracker is showing the clouds breaking up, and I'm looking overhead, and I don't see many clouds. They've broken up pretty quickly here in the backyard overhead. And we are going to see a pretty good dose of sunshine this morning. But as future tracker is going to show, uh, more clouds will be moving in later this morning into the afternoon. Ahead of that Arctic air mass is going to come barreling in and bring us the coldest air that we have seen so far this winter, as we drop down into single digits tonight, now, other areas have seen single digits, but not here in Evansville yet. And then we're going to be noticing wind chills tomorrow below zero. I'm not happy about it either. Plenty of sunshine, though, tomorrow, so at least we have that going for us. And then as we go through the day on Friday, though, by Friday evening, more clouds start to roll back in. And we've got a chance for a little rain and snow over the weekend. We will be warming up some. Uh, both Saturday and Sunday. In fact, both Saturday and Sunday, we're going to have a high temperature anyway uh, that will be above the melting point. We'll be in the mid to upper 30s both days. As far as snowfall amounts, we have a chance for a few flakes out there this afternoon, uh, especially up to the northeast. You know, maybe a trace up around Lagodia. That's about the size of it. For most of us, though, just a few flurries will be fluttering around out, out and about late afternoon and early evening. Here's my forecast for today. And it, uh, nothing warm about it, that's for sure. A uh, high temperature that's going to be in the mid-30s with a few flakes flying around. And then a breezy and cold with that uh, west-northwest wind at around 5 to 15 miles an hour. And then the next seven days, temperatures are going to be uh, warming up a little bit over the weekend. Like I said, after a really cold day tomorrow, we'll be in the mid to upper 30s. Up into the upper 40s on Monday, you're thinking, hey, there we go. Now we got something going here, some warmth going on. But... Uh, look at the temperature bottom out, though. By midweek, we're right back down into single digits on Wednesday morning with a high temperature only in the low 20s. Uh, it looks like mainly rain on Monday, but it could change over to some snow and perhaps some accumulating snow as we head into Tuesday. So we'll be on that, of course, over the next few days. News headlines coming up.